Hello, City Skylines fans. I'm Soxway Up. Welcome back to Chillhorn Season 2, Episode Number 10, if my numbers are correct. Yeah, they're going by fast. I'm really enjoying recording these. Today's episode is going to be a little different. We'll go over our basic needs, but we're going to do a little bit of cleanup and some infrastructure planning long term. Maybe that'll help a little bit of our traffic issues. I'm afraid we didn't plan well enough early on in the city for... Oh, for growing this fast. So we'll we'll see where we can go. Let's click out of here. Um, I played around with a lot of things. There's some things you might notice. This train station is not going to stay there. We also added in a cargo terminal here that, that we're going to move around our cargo hub in this episode. Traffic got a little bit better. Um, yay. Uh, <laughs> sorry, we... we we aren't where we really want to be traffic wise but again as i mentioned in the last episode i'm not a huge worrier about a little bit of traffic i'm just worried this is going to lead to some some gridlock and we we, we don't want the gridlock it's this a little bit of traffic a couple lights deep here not too bad not too much to worry about i did move this out a little bit and give them the three lanes on this side that does seem to help a little bit. I also added these little slip lanes. And it doesn't it doesn't seem to do much. A lot of this traffic is going across the city. So we added the <laughs> maybe just getting rid of this and traffic routing might help everything. Traffic routing differently. I'm not too sure, but we'll we'll keep playing along, plugging along and and see what happens. Our basic needs, electricity's fine. Um, we did talk about that last episode and I did end up adding in a geothermal plant in the oil area. Uh, water we're good with, but today we're gonna change that out. Um, education should be good, garbage is good. The only problems that we're having with healthcare are due to uh, the traffic issues. So we do see some, some backups and dead bodies because of the traffic issues as you see here. Those do tend to take care of themselves over time. You can see our income is uh, outrageous right now. I was playing around with some of the policies in the college, and I think I was trying to get it to populate more students. We're gonna undo that. Um, oh man, I don't. That's I haven't dug a lot into it, but I assume that's what changed our. Let's get rid of that. Um, changed our income. Info here, now our tuition's at, uh, yeah, so we're starting to make money back from that. I think our industries might be struggling. Are they struggling? 8,000 profit, so where did our, where is our lost money coming from? 23,000 here, let's look at our expenses real quick. Can't we go that way? No, we'll go over here this way. Expenses, expenses. Industry's costing us a lot, but we're making a ton of money in industry, so that's break even at this point, um, get back to that main view. A lot of money in trash. Oh, I did do free. I thought I did free public transportation, but that might be a little bit, but I guess it did recover. Now we're back at 23,000. We also hit 33,000 citizens, which means our next, or 34,000, which opened up uh, helicopter paths and some other nice buildings, but the cargo hub is what I really wanted. And I also wanted the extra tile so that we could purchase this one here. So we have these all. We probably will do these two to finish out the nine. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so let's just let's dive right into it. Let's not waste any time. Let's pause the game. And we're going to take a look at our water first. We're going to say... Oh, well... For sewage production is about 4,700. And if we look at these plants, what can they produce? Drain capacity is 160,000. So we're going to need quite a few of those to make up the difference. So let's um, jump on over to this area here, which I think is what I want to utilize for it. We'll go ahead and get rid of these old roads. We'll do a little bit of this live and then probably jump forward into the video a little bit so it's not too dull. But getting rid of these here. Let's grab this four lane road. Let's let the game play because there's no reason for it not to right now. Um, let's also bring this one down as well. Kind of matching our patterns. Let's do this one way road the same here. But then flip it. 
And then we'll probably add some more one way in there as well. But let's go ahead and find a little spot here. We'll grab these regular roads. We'll come across like that. And then maybe, let's see the size of these first. Let's go back in here, let's drop this down like so. Let's put like four of these facing each other. Yeah. And then let's grab the water pipes. Just kind of connect them all up like that. Electricity's an issue. Let's grab some power lines, get those out there, and let's see what that does to our water. So capacity is at 1.2 million. Let's go start shutting these off one by one and seeing what happens. Come on over here. Let's power off one, two. Let's get this tab up. See if it'll let us keep that. There we go. Okay. So capacity still looking good. Still looking good. Still good. Okay. So we should be able to get rid of all of these and have plenty of room for growth later. And that should pretty quickly clean up the water. Um, let's go into the regular view and see this This here. Hopefully by the end of the episode, it's nice and clean again and we don't have to deal with the ugliness of that anymore. Go ahead and move it as far as it'll let us. Right there. And then just to start, we'll do one-way roads in here and out like that but we're gonna do a little more designing and we moved it enough for the water not to yeah okay i didn't think so so that should be good there and as we mentioned before this the rest of this area is going to be kind of a hub for some warehouses and, and industry things some other things that i guess kind of wanted to touch on i would have left room in here for trains we might have to figure out a way to adjust everything to fit a train station in here to help with some of the extracting of goods. I think if we look a little deeper into here, you can see these guys are coming from, this one's coming from the cargo, or going to this cargo terminal. Why the game does that and it didn't pick the one over there, I have no idea. So that's causing some of the traffic issues, but I think if we start populating some of these cargo terminals around the city, and give them ways to export goods a little bit better, that's gonna improve things a little bit, so. Well, we did a little playing around with the cargo freight trains and cargo hubs, and we got this one loaded 100%. We're gonna go ahead and follow it and see where it goes. And it's going to the cargo hub. So this is the idea that I had, was get some of these trains out and we'll get them moving goods instead of cars moving goods and a lot of trucks on the road. So he's gonna come over to this harbor. Let's zoom out a little bit if we can. And then they're gonna go right back to the same terminal that they're at, pick up some more goods, like so. And I'll give a little overview of the entire railroad system afterwards. And then he should be heading either back and forth and potentially going out of town as well, which we've seen a few times. Let's let this one finish and see where he goes next. Gonna have to wait there, come in, a bunch of ships are coming in. Traffic's not too bad right here right now, that's not bad. Only filling up 7%, I'm not too concerned about that. I think that'll kind of pick up as time goes. Come on over here, drop off his 7% for them to then take it to the locations. And this one, he's gonna go back to this next one. Very cool, so they're utilizing multiple. Now they're heading out to Portburg, I guess, which is an external city. That is exactly what we were wanting to see, and it seems to be working already. So we're getting a lot of goods. We're getting the trucks that are driving to the cargo stations instead of just driving out of town. So they're leaving, they're keeping their traffic local, which is nice because that's making less traffic on the highways. And it seems like this is starting to recover a little bit as it's just local traffic, which means the next step is potentially figuring out how to get people that are going to work and going to entertainment areas to not have to use their cars as much as well. So going to be a big episode on mass transit. Let's jump into the next section right now. All right, next I want to kind of show what we've done with the subway or metro situation here. We have this one, just a regular metro station that is above ground. 
It then leads to one that's elevated, one of the nice elevated ones. I want to just kind of mix them up. And then this one goes back underground, <clears throat> excuse me, to a terminal right about here. And so if we open up our tab now, we can see that we have these two little loops, one that's in the first city we built, one in the second city. We might extend that down even more long term. But we've also made this path that they don't seem to know that they can use. So I might actually, let's see if we can get them to actually use the path. Let's put it right here. And go above ground, do that, hit play, and see if they start using that path. They do. So that should be a good way for them to get back and forth. Eventually the AI, I think, will pick up on that and they will go back and forth when they want to jump from one subway station to another. Look at all of those people. Wow, people for days. But yeah, you can see a few people are using our nice little pathway that we gave them. The other people are refusing to, uh, but they might not be going that direction. So they might be wanting to go this way anyways as a quicker path, but you can see more people are starting to use it. Very cool, let's just jump back out here and see the entire loop. We did show that already. I think overall that's gonna help a little bit with traffic. We were at about 75%, we're still around there. Ah, let's give the game a little while. Again, it's not getting worse. We haven't expanded much, but it's not getting worse. Another area that I didn't show that I built off camera is this new residential area here. It has a little bit of commercial on the outskirts and then some some houses on the inside. Just another, another area that we built. Didn't want to detail that too much. Um, yeah, I think that's going good. I mean, overall, we talked about our industries. We have, uh, I thought there was a tab for that. We can go into industries. We can see here that we already have farming and we have oil. Next, we could work on some forestry or ore as well as some fishing. So we're going to do those in the next few episodes. Let's take a look at the map and see if we have ore. We do not have ore ready yet. We can try to use one of these areas, a small area for forest. It's going to be tough. We might have to actually put a bunch of trees down and see if the game will let us do it that way. We could do another oil industry, another farm industry. I don't really want to do that. Um, the next tile we're going to unlock is going to be the ore industry here. And how many people do we need for that? We need to get to 48,000. That's quite a jump. I don't want to just force that out. Um, but we are going to do a little bit of expanding before we end this episode and show you that before we call it a day. Well, we just did a whole lot off camera and I think we've somewhat fixed our traffic problems. We were down to like 72%. Now we're back up to 85, 83. It's fluctuating a little bit, but you can see this roundabout. Oh yeah, it hasn't looked like this in a long time. Also the traffic on this end is looking a lot better. Now we have this issue here that we kind of created intentionally with the, with the train situation, but the main reason that it's fixed is these three overpasses here. Kind of, you don't have to come here and cross over and go to the on and off ramp there to do that. You can just kind of come on over to the other side of the city. And I think that was the big thing that was missing is a lot of this traffic was going from one side of the highway to the other, had no reason to go onto the roundabout that has the on, on and off ramps. It's just congesting it more than it needs to. And then they also can just come around this way instead of coming all the way down and back if they're trying to get somewhere over here. And we got a fire spreading. Looks like they're getting it taken care of. Hopefully our playground's on fire. Um, Here they come, here they come. Come on, take care of it, guys. We, had, we did lose a few buildings to fire spreading while the traffic was pretty bad, but it's getting there. It's getting a lot better. Let's see where it's at. 82%, 81%. It's kind of creeping back down, but I think we'll be okay. So let's kind of just... Go on a, a whole overview of the city, because honestly, I've forgotten where I've expanded. Uh, we did a little bit between episodes of these other buildings in the university. More detailing is going to come to that eventually. We're going to get to that. I added in some more buildings here. I don't think we've showed these yet. We added in the little holiday, little winter party area. Um, I forget, what is that building called? The winter market. And we added in the cathedral as well which I believe is driving some tourists here. Pretty cool. Um, doesn't really fit. I guess it kind of does this city. Uh, then we maybe by mistake 
are trying to increase the population with this section here. We're a little over halfway to our goal to unlock all the milestones. It's coming along nice. These trams or the trains are seem to be doing their job, adding in some traffic where it's necessary, but it's not necessarily cross highway traffic that is a problem anymore, which is a great problem to have right now. That's what we wanted to see. Some of the other stuff that we finished and kind of built out and still need to do some tree decorating around is this little shopping section here that kind of just changes up the grid big time when you look top down. And then there'll be a lot more to come in this area. Some of this road design will probably get redesigned when we get the actual warehouses and factories that we want to put in this area. But you can see traffic is not much of an issue. It's just a busy city now. It's not really, there's no gridlock. I'm happy with that. Um, the city's just busy and it's, it's, I love it. I love it. I think it's turning out great. Uh, we probably could have smoothed out this road a little bit better, but it will do. The game's probably saving right now, or I must have accidentally paused it. Um, but yeah, the, got some main roads. Oh, one of the other things I did is I, there's a lot more room here. These buildings used to come right up to the highway. And I think that was a mistake. I didn't have any option to do these elevated roads. And I didn't want to go underground with them. So we might add another one here. Kind of, what is that? Residential? Let's see. That might be a little strange. Um, maybe let's do this live. We just kind of come up here. It's about there. And then we do kind of like a curve, maybe. Yeah, it might not be good enough to figure out. Hmm. Uh, let's go straight. Oh, what if we just did this? I don't know if I hate that. Don't know. We'll see how much it gets used. And then again, a lot of detailing is going to have to go around in that area. But that's definitely helping with this traffic flow issue. I might even be able to get rid of these slip lanes here now. We'll see. Um, let's throw it on times one and get the game just looking... Just looking normal. As you can see, it just looks like normal traffic. One of the things I'm debating is completely moving this. It feels out of place now, even though we do have some industry over here. Um, yeah, so I, I might make some changes with that. I might actually demolish this entire high density area as well. It just doesn't seem to fit. Uh, and I was kind of trying to push towards 44,000, which really wasn't happening. But yeah, so I think the next episode our goal is going to be kind of finishing this whole chunk here, even though we want to buy that tile to do it. I think we want to start closing in these gaps and maybe doing a little bit with this area as well, finding some more residential areas that we can build and and really expand this city, get it going to that 44,000 mark. Uh, we're going to get a nice high rise line here, I believe. It's starting to look pretty good. Um, these buildings didn't necessarily come in. I guess they did come in the way I wanted them to, but they are level one. We'll see how they upgrade. We'll have to do a lot of office expanding here soon and some detailing and kind of start thinking about the next thing. Really want to get this tile unlocked to get the ore industry. Maybe next episode we'll tackle the forest industry as well. Again, I'm Socks Way Up. Thanks for hanging out with me. Hopefully this wasn't too long of an episode. Thanks for joining Chillhorn Season 2. Hopefully you're learning something from it and you're enjoying it. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll catch you on the next episode.